Well, hello. Welcome again to Santa Herb's 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, maybe Nightmare of Christmas, I'm not sure. But uh, this is our third uh, 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 leg of the sled ride. And uh, uh, we've looked at the first two uh, 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 trips we've made uh, down the chimney. We looked at uh, a Christmas carol, Silent Night. We looked at a uh, kind of a hybrid between a Christmas carol and a Christmas song. Uh, the Do You Hear What I Hear? One of my favorites. Uh, uh, but uh, that one can go either way, you know. Uh, we talked about the, the differences between a Christmas carol and a Christmas song. But today we're going to be looking and reading uh, a 1953 Christmas song, a an iconic piece of literature. Uh, to me, it's 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 literature. It's 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 poignant. It's deep. the The imagery is fantastic, and it and it just puts you in in the spirit. Uh, and uh, I, I I I can't say enough about this particular Christmas song. And I. I, I, I know you're going to really enjoy it. I'm not going to sing it again. So, you know, you can keep the, the computer on. Uh, the girls, Iggy Azalea and Katy Perry, who are usually here, they have uh, left. They've gone to Walmart. Uh, they, they saw me put my the antlers on, and they didn't want anything to do with this particular segment. Uh, uh, there we go. So, without any further ado, this beautiful, wonderful 1953 uh, song uh, written by an Iowan, John Rocks, who actually, uh, 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 he married the, the woman that played uh, 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 Alice Kravitz on, a, uh, on Bewitched. Uh, jump back in your time machine, kids, to see what that was. But without any further ado, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, have a little background music to this also. And then after the, after the recitation, I'll give you the background story. Uh, Alexa, continue. I love Alexa. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. I don't want a doll. No dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't think Santa Claus will mind. Do you? He won't have to use our dirty chimney flue. Just bring him through the front door. That's the easy thing to do. I can see me now on Christmas morning creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to see my hippo hero standing there, just like Fiona from the Cincinnati Zoo. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me too. Mom says the hippo would eat me up, but then teacher says a hippo is a vegetarian. That's a strange line. It doesn't even rhyme. There's lots of room for him in our two car garage. I'd feed him there, I'd wash him there, and give him his massage. I can see men now on Christmas morning creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to see my hippo hero standing there. I'm not cleaning up after the hippo. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me, too. John Rocks, the classic. The classic craftsmanship of a master lyricist. Background. Well, 
1953. The song was pushed into the airways. Sung by a 10-year-old Oklahoma City girl, Gayla Peavy. 10 years old. Just opening up her heart about this Christmas request and this this passion she has for uh, large zoo animals. By the way, this information comes from the Des Moines Register, uh, December 18, 2018, by writer uh, uh, Matthew Lemkehuler. I can't pronounce it, but uh, that's, that's the way I would pronounce it. Uh, 1953, Gayla Peavy, Oklahoma City, 10-year-old girl. When they got her, she sang it. Boom, bang. Hit number 24 in the Billboard charts that year. Swept the nation, as you can tell. It's still, it's still one of the biggest Christmas songs. You, you'll hear it every day. It inspired her hometown locals of Oklahoma City so much that that year they had some type of a, a, a fundraiser and they raised three thousand dollars to buy Gala and fulfill her Christmas wish, and they bought her a $3,000 hippopotamus by the name of Matilda. Now, I, I don't know what the market is now for a hippopotamus, but I'm thinking $3,000 is a little bit under the under the going price, but maybe that was a, a you know, top dollar in, in, in 1953. Uh, but anyway, uh, either due to her parents' uh, uh, discontent, or maybe uh, uh, lack of getting a zoning permit, uh, she wasn't able to keep the uh, Matilda uh, in, in the two-car garage. So she gave it to the local Oklahoma City Zoo, which I've been to. Uh, 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 and she gave it Matilda to the zoo. And Matilda lived for 50 years. As a matter of fact, in 2017, Gala, she returned to the zoo uh, to help commemorate the, uh, the uh, Matilda's replacement, uh, a new hippo named Francesca. Uh, and then she came back the next year, 2018, to, to celebrate the song's 65th anniversary. And she led a public sing-along of I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. And I'm sure Francesca was very impressed. I hope you've enjoyed this very, uh, I hope it was a, a knowledgeable and uh, soul lifting. And uh, I, I feel enlightened and I hope you do too. Uh, <clears throat> Tomorrow, I'm thinking about a couple of different things. Uh, uh, one of the, uh, the, the, the items, I'll give you a full warning, thinking about reciting a two and a half page uh, Christmas story uh, from 1846. Uh, it's, uh, it is a Christmas story, and, uh, but it is the saddest thing I've ever, uh, it's just so sad. Uh, I teach it every year when I taught every year at school. And uh, I cannot get through that without just, just crying just about. Uh, but it is so pointed. It's, uh, I'm, 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 I'm leveling with you. Uh, so if I do decide to do that, I'll let you know. And you can decide to watch it or not, you know. Uh, but it is a, a wonderful story, but it, it's a heart-wrenching story. Uh, with that, uh, oh, Lord, nine minutes. Uh, hope you enjoy your day. I don't know if the girls, when the girls are coming back. Uh, Noel, uh, I would like a hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> the uh, Shakira song, My Hippos Don't Lie. <laughs> uh, look it up. <laughs>